Hello, dear friends. Today for your lesson, you will need your student's book and workbook, English 5, part 2. Please open it at page 70. We are starting Unit 8, Countries and Continents. Belarus and Britain are countries. Africa and America are continents. How many continents are there? Exercise 1A. Look at the world map and answer the questions. Let's listen to the song and check your guesses. The world is split up into continents, there are seven in all And if you get the gist, we're gonna make a list from biggest to small They are Asia, Africa, North and South America Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia Asia, Africa, North and South America Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia Hey, my name is Asia, and more than half of the world lives here, but whatever Okay, thank you. So, how many continents? Yes, there are seven. Let's count. Exercise 1B Asia 1 Africa, 2. North America, 3. South America, 4. Antarctica, 5. Europe, 6. Australia, 7. Now, let's Let's go to the next page and match the transcriptions to the words. Antarctica D Africa A North America E South America, F, Europe, G, Asia, B, Australia, C. Well done. Now, repeat after me. Let's read the words in the left column. Antarctica, Africa. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia. Now let's read the words in the right column together. Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica. North America, South America, Europe. Well done. Okay, let's have a look at the map again. And answer the question in exercise 1D. Which is the largest continent? Which is the smallest? Let's listen to Kate's father, who is a teacher of geography. He's telling school children about continents and check your ideas. Unit 8, Lesson 1. Exercise 2A, B. 
Look at the map of the world. Can you point at where we live? Right here. Good. We live in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is in Europe. So, we live in Europe. What language do we speak? English. We speak British English. In the United States of America, people speak English too, but it's American English. We say a lift. They say an elevator. We say sweets. They say candies. People who live in Australia speak Australian English. We say a farm. They say a station. We say a waterhole. They say a billabong. But all people in English-speaking countries think that there are seven continents on our planet. I'll name them from the largest to the smallest. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. People in India in some European countries think so too. You know, I've got a friend in Belarus. His name is Alex. He can speak English, but most people in his country speak Belarusian or Russian. Alex thinks that there are six continents. Right. People in other countries think that there are six continents on our planet. In Russia, Bulgaria, Ukraine, Belarus, for example, they say that Europe and Asia are one continent. In Italy and Brazil, they think that North and South Americas are one continent. Okay, so which is the largest continent? Asia. Which is the smallest continent? Australia. Uh, it's interesting that in uh, the UK and the USA, people think that there are seven continents. But in Belarus and in Russia, people think that there are six continents because Europe and Asia because Europe and Asia are one continent. And in Italy and in Brazil, people think that North and South Americas are one continent too. Let's do exercise 3A. Find the countries on the map and match the countries and the continents. Belarus is in Europe. The United Kingdom, the UK, is in Europe too. The United Kingdom, Объединенное Королевство, Великобритании и Северной Ирландии, это полное название, сокращенное, the UK. Bulgaria is in Europe. Russia is in Europe and Asia. Australia is in Australia, it's a country and a continent. Italy is in Europe. India is in Asia. The United States of America, the USA is in North America. The United States of America, Соединенные Штаты Америки, the USA. Okay, now, Let's do exercise four. Look at the map in the book and complete the sentences. Please do this exercise in your exercise books and then listen and check. Stop this video, do the exercise and then Listen and check. Let's check. Belarus is in Europe. Asia is the largest continent. Australia is the smallest continent. 
Africa is the hottest continent. Antarctica is the coldest continent. The UK, the USA and Australia are English speaking countries. People in these countries speak English, but in the UK they speak British English. In the USA, they speak American English. And in Australia, they speak Australian English. The USA is in North America. The UK is in Europe. Canada is in North America. Well done. And let's go to page 72 and do exercise five. 5a. Make adjectives from the names of the countries. For example, Belarus, Belarusian. Belarus, Belaruski. America, American. America, Americanski. To make adjectives, we add suffixes i-a-n or a-n. Let's do it together. Okay, Russia, Russian, Australia, Australian, Europe, European. Italy, Italian, Africa, African, Brazil, Brazilian, Asia, Asian, Bulgaria, Bulgarian, India, Indian. Now, repeat after me. Mind the stress. Обратите внимание на ударение. В некоторых прилагательных оно меняется. Russia, Russian. Australia, Australian. Europe, European. Italy, Italian. Africa, African. Brazil, Brazilian. Asia, Asian. Bulgaria, Bulgarian. India, Indian. Thank you. Uh, and now look at this pink box. Uh, we usually don't use uh, articles with the names of countries and continents. Belarus, North America, Bulgaria, but we use there with the USA and the UK. And the last exercise for today is exercise 5b. In this exercise you need to ask and answer questions and uh, my friend Freddy will help me to answer these questions. So Freddy, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's read the example first. Freddy, did you see an American film last weekend? No, I didn't. Have you got any Asian clothes? No, I haven't. Do you like Italian food? Yes, I do. Pizza is my favorite. Can you name five African animals? Yes, I can. A tiger, a lion, a giraffe, um, an elephant and a monkey. Well done, Freddy. Do you know the name of a very famous Brazilian footballer? 
No, I don't. Do you like Bulgarian beaches? Yes, I do. Do you dislike uh, Indian films? Yes, I do. Can you count to 10 in Italian? Mm, no, I can't. Have you got any friends who speak Ukrainian? Mm, no, I haven't. Would you like to visit an English speaking country? Yes, I would. I'd like to go to Australia and see my brother Koala there. Hmm. Cute. Did you go to a European country last year? Yes, I did. I went to Germany. Can you sing a Russian song? Yes, I can. Раз, цветали, яблони, груши. Hmm, very good, Freddy. Can you say lift in American English? Yes, I can. It's elevator. Okay. Do you know what the most popular Canadian sport is? Yes, I do. It's ice hockey. Are you reading a Belarusian book at the moment? No, I'm not. Do you know a famous Australian landmark? Yes, I do. I know uh, the Opera House in Sydney. It's very beautiful. Thank you, Freddie, for your help. Now, my friends, you can take your toys or your pets and ask them your questions. Thank you. Uh, our next step is your homework. Please open your workbooks uh, at page 68. Your homework is lesson one. Exercise one, you need to unjumble the names of the countries and write them in your exercise book in the order from the largest, Asia, to the smallest, Australia. In exercise B, write in your exercise book the names of the countries in the alphabetical order. So the first letter of the alphabet is A. We can see there are two words with the letter A, America and Australia. Then we look at the second letter, M and U. So America goes before Australia. In exercise two, please find the mistakes. John is very bad at spelling, pravopisanie. He wrote only one word correctly, только одно слово правильно. For example, Bulgarian. So the letter I is missing. In exercise B, use the names of nationalities to complete the facts below. The pictures can help you. For example, people all over the world like Italian food, pizza, pasta, risotto, and tiramisu. In exercise three, read three facts about three different countries and write their names. Use the pictures for help. In exercise 3b, write in your exercise book one fact which is true, pravda, for all the three countries. Thank you very much for listening to me. See you tomorrow.